Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so this is trulydivine.com. I want to share this with you. New year, new you. It's 2021. Okay, I have an awesome deal for you guys. When you use my code ZEN30, you will get 30% off anything that you purchase from the site. We have here natal birth chart analysis with astrology and numerology, relationship analysis with astrology and numerology. We also have the solar return forecast relocation analysis. And then when you click here, you see they have free healing and wellness guides. Also tons of articles here that you can further look into. Okay, let's see, going beyond your horoscope. It's a really great site. I had my chart done with them and it's amazing. Okay, so it's 2021. There's a lot going on. You're going to want to know what the heck is going on. So make sure you check it out. Trulydivine.com, code ZEN30 for 30% off. Mwah. Peace and love. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising, and we are going to see what do you need to focus on at this time for your spiritual growth. Okay, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. What do they need to focus on at this time for their spiritual growth? Okay, keep in mind this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading, you can go to zenwithinme.com and purchase one there. Okay, so we have acceptance. Okay, so for some of you, there is something here that you need to accept. I'm not going to go into the details too much because this is not just focused on love. This is a general, so it's anything in your life that this resonates with. Okay, so there's some kind of acceptance that you guys need to deal with in order to move forward. Emotional healing. So I'm getting for some of you, you might be dealing with a breakup of some kind and you just, you don't believe it's over. You feel this person's going to come back. You feel this person still loves you or that there's a connection or something like that. You're not accepting the truth and the reality of the situation and it's not allowing you to heal emotionally and that's what you need. So if, if you're also like, well, you know, why don't I have a new love in my life? Why, you know don't I have this perfect person because you're holding on to something from the past. You're holding on to somebody else and you cannot move forward until you release that. So you have to accept whatever it is that you have to accept focusing now on relationships, focusing that the relationship, accepting that it's over and moving on and healing emotionally. Okay. And then we have music coming through here. So I feel for some of you, you might be playing music that reminds you of this person over and over and over again, and that's not allowing you to heal emotionally. Now, for others, I'm seeing here with music, you need to put music on, get up in the morning, play some music. When you're in your car, play some music, something cheerful, something that's going to make you happy, that's going to put you in a better mood emotionally. You know, so whatever it is you're dealing with here, just play some music, get, get into better spirits, I'm being told. Okay, so it, it goes both ways because this is a general reading. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? What else do they need to focus on for their spiritual growth, please? And thank you. What else do they need to focus on for their spiritual growth? What else do they need to focus on for their spiritual growth? Okay, we have Pluto coming through. Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. Yes. So you need to transform how you're thinking, how you're feeling, your emotions. It's time for a rebirth. Okay. So whatever it is that you need to accept and let go and move on emotionally, that's exactly what you need to do at this time. And then we have the 12th house. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. So yeah, whatever it is that's hard for you to accept is very overwhelming, but you yield to a greater cause or power. So release that negativity, that emotional baggage to the universe. It will dispose of it properly. Okay. So that you can move forward because you, you don't need to feel this way. You don't need to hold on to this. You don't need to carry this with you. Okay. All right. 
So let's say which chakra or what chakras are blocked. What chakras does Capricorn need to work on at this time for their spiritual growth? Okay, let's see. Last shuffle. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Okay. All right. So we have coming through here the crown chakra with presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. So you need to connect with reality here and accept whatever it is. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Aware. Like you're aware, but you don't want to give it the attention because then it's like you're acknowledging that it's, it's over and you don't want to do that. Okay, then we have the crown chakra coming through again. So you have a major blockage here. Intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. So you're very smart. You, you know what's up. For some of you, um, I, I'm getting that you have to go back to school. Um, even It doesn't have to be college. It could be like getting a course completed online, um, some kind of certificate or degree, or a license for something. I'm hearing license as well. Um, so just being certified in something. Um, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility. So it, it could be also work-related, you know, like if, if you got let go at work and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna call you and they haven't called you and you're like, okay, what's going on? It's like, okay, well, it's time to face the music that that, that, that is over, that job is done, it's not gonna work out. So you need to move forward you know, you might be feeling overwhelmed to try and apply for something else. I don't even know where to go from here. You know, I don't know which end is up, but it's time for you to tra transform, excuse me, and have a rebirth. You are smart enough that you can just go and start fresh doing something else. So for those of you that that resonates, um, it's time to go back to school and get some kind of certification or license in something. Okay, and then we have here with the base chakra, physical health, vitality, strength, body image, and balance okay so some of you have a blockage here in the base chakra um you may not be feeling very confident with how your body looks you may be having an issue with your physical health here and that might be you know uh causing you to feel out of whack all right you may be having trouble with weight loss so if that's the case that you feel like you hit a wall and you're feeling overwhelmed because you know you, you're working out you're listening to music and it's emotionally uh dragging you down because you don't you're not seeing results you're not feeling good and it's it's doing the opposite of what it's supposed to do which is you know you're supposed to feel better and healthier and it's not it's making you feel worse and you you don't understand i'm feeling here with acceptance in this health situation you don't understand what am i doing what, what's going on so you may want to go and see someone um to see maybe what's the issue um if you get some blood work done uh sometimes they can tell you with blood work you know if it's a hormone hormonal issue you know so they can help you with that so definitely go and see a physician and see what's going on there if you're dealing with um some kind of health conditions okay so let's see from the archangels and the animals what messages do they have for you to help you focus on your spiritual growth okay so we have here gray squirrel find new ways of solving problems archangel Raphael. so like i said you might be hitting a wall here because you're not trying something new it could just be things have not occurred to you because i see here you're very smart um, sometimes we're so focused, we have tunnel vision, no matter how intelligent we are, no matter how educated we are, we'll have tunnel vision. And we're just like, because our mindset is, no, it has to be this way that the other options that are right outside of it. We're not noticing it's not clicking and it could be something so simple and makes so much sense, but we have that tunnel vision. So find new ways of solving problems. Also look up Gray Squirrel for the sp uh, spirit animal meeting, meaning, excuse me, and Archangel Raphael for other messages. Okay, so I'm also getting 1212 12 for some of you. We have the 12th house here, so the number 12 is relevant, and 1212 12 came through. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Capricorn? 
regarding oop, their spiritual growth. Okay, surrender to the divine, full moon. Now, I know we have a, I think it's like four super moons. One's coming up soon. Hang on, guys. I'm going to drink my coffee real fast. Okay. Yes, it's morning. Good morning. All right, so surrender to the divine, okay? Also, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon, in Taurus. So you might be dealing with a Taurus. This is a timeless reading. If you're looking for some kind of timing as an answer, look to see when is full moon in Taurus, or it could just be the next full moon phase, okay? But your dreams need a practical plan here. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have? Four. Capricorn. If you'd like to purchase any of these decks, I have the affiliate links down below. I also have my shop websites down below, Etsy and zenwithemi.com. You can also follow me on TikTok for daily posts. And I also have my Wizio and other affiliates there. Everything's down below. You can just check that out. And if you're looking to move to Florida, you can check out my other YouTube channel, Zen with the New Homes. I specialize in new construction. I can help you with that as well. You'd be surprised. It's actually sometimes more affordable to buy a new house than it is resale. But you can go and check that out on that channel. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so your message is, do I believe I am worthy? Very interesting here. You are worthy, you are deserving, and you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Okay, so today's soul action for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? And today's mantra, I am worthy of it all. Okay, so you are worthy, my darlings. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Stay safe. Check out the description box down below for everything that I mentioned. Uh, peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.